Hello everyone, Helen here and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing my Shop Your Stash series. This is episode two and I am using the Stampin' Up! Sweet as Peach stamp set. I am also using the coordinating papers. So here are all the patterns that came with the paper pack and I'm using one of each with the exception of those little peaches. I actually didn't see that when I was pulling out the papers and I wish I did, but um, I, I can use that next time. So I love the blues and the greens in this. And here are the solid cardstocks I'm using, which are Early Espresso, Calypso Coral, and Balmy Blue. I also pulled out coordinating ink pads, which are Early Espresso, Calypso Coral, and the other one is Pear Pizzazz. So I went ahead and stamped all of these images. And what I like about these images is that it looks like you use multiple ink pads to achieve that um, peachy color, but it's actually the stamp set. And there's a lot of little tiny details on it that allows you to get that look. And I believe Stampin' Up! calls it dis distinctive, correct me if I'm wrong. And I really like that look because then it looks like you kind of layered the stamp, but you didn't. And so I picked 10 sketches from this time I chose from Mojo Monday. And I will have all the sketches on the top left corner of my screen there. And if you want to join along with me by shopping your stash or creating your own card kit, you can join me by... Um, using the hashtag CMD shop stash and I've had a few people join me last month when I did this and they tagged me on Instagram and it was so much fun seeing everybody's creations. I've had a couple friends who also joined along with me here on YouTube and it, it's just so much fun seeing what they came up with with the sketches that I chose and this is a great way to actually use what you have or use what you haven't used in a while, which is this one. I actually bought this um, uh, kit or I should say stamp set and paper last year and I didn't get a chance to use it. And now I'm using it because I'm just ready for some warmer weather. And this uh, pattern paper reminds me of spring and summer like warmer weather here in Maryland we're getting a lot of rain because you know I don't think we're going to get any more snow so we've been getting a lot of rain and it's just been cloudy and dreary and a little depressing and don't get me wrong I love snow and I love rain from time to time but now I'm itching to just get out there be in the sun wearing my flip-flops and just you know, not having to worry about bundling up because I'm a flip-flop kind of girl. So let me know in the comment section below if you are a flip-flop kind of girl if or if you are a, you know, winter person. I mean, when the season comes, like for example, winter or fall, like especially fall, I can, I enjoy fall weather, but winter season, I think I can only uh, last maybe a month, you know? <laughs> After that, you know, especially when you have kids and you got to go out, it's like, oh my gosh, you know, I need to get out. Anyways, let's get back into the cards. So this card sketch right here in particular is one of my favorites because I love all the layering that involves. And I didn't follow a lot of the sketches to the T. I mean, I did try, but for some reason, like, you know, I prefer... Like, for example, this circle, I preferred it to be on top of the square. So you can cater the sketches to your preference. You don't have to follow it completely. Just use it as a inspiration. And that's what sketches are, you know, what I use sketches for, for inspiration. And so here I took advantage of the die that came with a stamp set, which is the one where you see the Let's Celebrate You. And I really like that it has like, when you die cut, it, it does this um, indentation around it, if you know what I'm, I mean. And I hope that makes sense. I just like that look. And so 
I stamped about five sentiments and then paired it with a bigger sentiment and I really like that. And then for this card, I did follow this sketch to the T, I remember, except I didn't do the triangular um, strip there at the bottom. But um, I chose not to put any ribbons or any uh, embellishments on this because I felt like it didn't really need it because the pattern papers are quite busy as well as the elements that I die cut. And you guys, I had so much fun stamping. If there's one thing I love about Stampin' Up, it's the stamping. I miss stamping. And don't get me wrong, I also love to color, but it's been a while since I stamped. And if I want to stamp to my heart's desire and use up a lot of my colors, Stampin' Up is the company that I go to to rely on stamping to my heart's desire <laughs> and um, not to mention the beautiful papers that they have I was a demonstrator like a hobby demonstrator for a while I, I would say for a couple of years and my friends and I had like this uh, stamp club and so like we would take turns hosting so then they can get the benefits of earning rewards or free stuff and that's how, you know, we were able to collect a lot of our uh, stamps or ink pads. And that's how I was able to collect a lot of my ink pads and paper. Um, from that day on, like I was just like hooked on their ink pads and their cardstock. Um, I just love the fact that it matches and I don't have to worry about, oh, is this going to match with this ink pad or is this going to match with that ink pad? So that's one thing I love about them. And I also like that their ink pads are foam. They're kind of like Catherine Puller. Um, well, no, they are just like Catherine Puller. Puller, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Um, cause it's a foam pad and I love the juiciness of the foam pad. It's moist. Okay. I just had to say that word because that was our word of the weekend when I went to Ocean City was moist. I'm sorry if you guys don't like that word, but you know, my friends told me I should say it in one of my videos. So if you guys are listening, I said it. <laughs> All right. Okay. So here's another card a sketch that is my favorite. I love the simplicity of it and just breaking down the paper with a solid cardstock. And then the dies that I used there, I only chose one die, which is the layering circles die. I love the scallop edge. It's not too big, not too small. It's just right. It gives it a nice touch of whimsy that I feel is my style. And it just gives this, um, this card just you know, more interest, I think, you know, because I did have this without the scallop um, border around the circle. And I was just like, Oh, it looks a little plain. But when I added that, I was like, Yes, this is exactly what it needed. And I love the little tiny circle how the have a peachy day um, fits right in there. And so I just love the simplicity of this card and I think I'm go I'm going to want to make more of these cards cuz I have plenty left over from the um stamps that I stamped earlier that I die cut. So I have plenty left over to create more of those types of cards and they can just be note cards or you can make a uh, like 10 cards to give to someone, wrap it in a nice bow. They will really really appreciate these thank you cards or you know a variety of cards that way you know they can just give someone oh I need a card for a birthday oh I need a card for a thank you card this is a wonderful gift to give to someone and the best part about it is you had fun making it it's handmade and it's unique all right so now we are on Oh gosh, I don't even know what card it is. If we went past card five, like one of my videos got cut off. So I apologize about that because what happened was I went to go heat up some chicken nuggets while filming. <laughs> and when I came back, I, you know, I just went on filming as usual. I didn't even bother pausing the camera. And then before I knew it, I was like, why is my screen black? 
And that's when I realized that my um, footage got cut off. So I apologize about that. Oh, look, we're on card nine. I'm spent all this time talking to you guys about, I don't know what, nonsense and moist that <laughs> just like, oh, look, we're on card nine. All right. So this card sketch, I also love. I love that there's these two banners that create texture on your card. And I chose a solid colored cardstock for this. I didn't choose a pattern paper because I felt like, you know, I already have like three busy pattern papers going on here that I needed to mute it down with some solid col colored cardstock. And then I chose the peach branch and I'm kind of thinking to myself, maybe I should have chosen the brown branch with the flowers. I think it would... Um, the contrast between the orange and the orange doesn't really go well for me there looking at it right now. But, you know, it still works because I did pop it up. But if I had to do this all over again, I would probably choose the flowers with the brown branch. But overall, I'm I still like this. So now we're moving on to card 10. And um, before I forget to, you know, while I'm talking here, um, as I mentioned before, like, if you do want to join me on shopping your stash, hashtag CMD shop stash. If you make a video on YouTube or if you choose to share um, your photos on Instagram, make sure to tag me. I really love and I really enjoy looking at all of your creations. I'm also on Facebook. But um, when I did create a Facebook account, I accidentally created a Facebook group instead of a Facebook page of craft crafty mama diaries and um i'm already committed so i really don't want to delete it so if you don't mind being in a crafty mama diaries group um please join me along there because i also do post um my creations there as well as of course on instagram so i hope to see some of you guys there and before okay another thing is this sunday there is going to be a collab. It's going to be a 10 cards, one sketch collab. Like I think my friends, I don't know how many they're going to make, but we're all going to use the same sketch, but I usually make 10 cards out of it. So then I can keep some in my stash. And this is for our pen pal group on Instagram. I made one last month, so we're going to make another one this month. So be on the lookout for that on Sunday, 7 a.m., Pacific Standard, I mean, Eastern Standard Time. So that would be 6, 5, 4, 4 a.m. California. No, 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 no. 7, 8, 9, 10 a.m. Pacific Time and 7 a.m. Uh, Eastern. All right, guys. This finishes up the 10 cards for my Shop Your Stash. I hope to, I, I did say that I want to make these types of cards every other week, but with a lot of my design team commitments, it prohibited me to do it in the towards the beginning of the month. Towards the end of the month, it gets less busier for me. So this is the first chance I got to do it. So my goal is once every month. So thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe.